we're at the Carpinteria Bluffs, and below us is the uh, Carpinteria Seal Rookery. And the seal rookery has been around, as far as we know, for over a hundred years. The seals have been coming here to, uh, during their birthing, malting, and mating season, right here to the Carpinteria Rookery. The uh, biggest danger when someone or something encroaches, either from the land or the ocean, harbor seals are very skittish animals and so they spook very easily. So when there is an intrusion or an encroachment into their territory, they flee to the water. And of course, what happens is the bigger uh, seals, the adult seals can weigh three to 400 pounds. You have a 20 to 50 pound pup, they can get trampled in the stampede to the ocean and then of course get injured and die. And there is a federal fine of $10,000 for encroaching into the protected area. So usually we can make our case to please um, respect the bluff. We tell the kids to use their library voices up here above the rookery. We also have a lot of visitors through the rookery. So our second goal is to educate the public. We had over 20,000 visitors last year from around the world come through the rookery. And then the third thing that we do is take counts of the seals and pups every half an hour from seven in the morning till seven at night, seven days a week, we take our counts. And then at the end of the season, those figures are turned over to an agency that can monitor how the rookery is doing in terms of growth. Is it maintaining its size? Is it shrinking uh, due to maybe beach erosion? Whatever that might be. We have volunteers from Thousand Oaks, Newberry Park, Ojai. Summerland, Santa Barbara, Goleta, you name it. I'm from Oxnard myself. People come here to volunteer because they care about the outdoors, because they care about the rookery, they care about the seals. It makes you feel good to be out here and helping in nature do something to take part in, uh, in our environment. But to get to be a small part of that feels very good. Like I said, uh, you forget that I've got to drive up for two hours on Monday. Uh, that becomes very minor. What becomes the important thing is I get to go spend two hours at the rookery and enjoy this beautiful natural setting.